morning everybody happy thursday this feels really weird picking up a camera and doing a vlog i've not really been very good at vlogging recently i did a small one on saturday when we went to james blunt and i've not done anything else all week i have however been doing some meals so there will be that actually is going to be this time i'm not just saying it there is going to be a meals of the week video because i've already filmed four which is you know that's a record usually i get to about day two and then i forget um or just don't get around to it but i have got a meals of the week video but actually doing a vlog i've not done one for ages and um, the sun is shining i thought i'd start the video out here because it is beautiful we've had such bad wind i think most of the uk has that although the sun has been out it's been freezing but today it's beautiful so towels have been washed there on the line we're going through towels like there's no tomorrow because of the hot tub the kids are constantly in and out of that hot tub and using up all the towels and i've got all of the bedding for the caravan park because i've got work tomorrow in the wash and i need to get that out and washed but i can't really stand out here chatting because i've got things to do um so i'm going to take you inside and i'm going to start cleaning the kitchen attempt to have you propped up up there you're currently on top of a big tub of protein shake of the kevin reese's but i've had to turn the light off because if i have the light on it flickers and this room is like a cave it's so dark it doesn't matter what time of day it is what time of the year it is this room is always dark and it doesn't do anything to help me with my tiredness or motivation um being in this dreary room all the time um because i'm a mum and i spent half my life in the flipping kitchen um but anyway i've been really struggling with exhaustion um tiredness and that's kind of one of the reasons why i've not been vlogging very much because i just haven't had the motivation for it um the doctor put me on to i think it's called fluoxetine and it's like an anti-depressant anti-anxiety medication he put me on that a while ago about a month ago and um i've taken it before many years ago and he said, I'll put you back on this because you've had it before, uh, rather than put you on something different. Um, oh my goodness, I can't even tell you. I have never felt so tired in all my life. Um, not wanting to do anything. The house has turned into wreck and ruin because I just had no energy whatsoever. Um, so about halfway through the Easter holidays, and also it didn't affect me this way the last time I took it. So it's obviously because maybe I'm older, um, but it hasn't agreed with me this time round. Um, so about halfway through the Easter holidays, also I was getting really bad headaches. I stopped taking it because I just thought I can't carry on like this. I am feeling worse now than I was before and I'm no good to anybody in this house whilst I am so dog rough tired um so I stopped taking it and I'm just starting to feel much more human much more myself now um it's taken a while to get to this point um like yeah about they've been back at school almost a week and I came off it halfway through the holidays so almost about 10 days I've stopped taking it and I am starting to feel like I've got more energy again I was like it's like weighing up the worst of the two evils like do I want to be really tired or do I want anxiety um you know which one's worse and at the moment I'm like right I'll go with feeling a little bit crazy in the head over feeling so tired um so yeah I've really struggled to find any motivation to do anything including vlogging um <laughs> And then things have just been really tricky with Felicity and her leg. Um, and I don't want to be that vlogger that's always, you know, seemingly always moaning and, um, and like, you know, verbal diarrheaing all of their problems. Um, and also, it's just tricky at the moment. It's just emotionally um, difficult because we're still in an investigation part of whatever this is with Felicity. I'm also not at home on my own. I've also um, had to stop filming a minute ago because Reese came downstairs with no flipping top on. Um, Brooke's here and Reese is here. Brooke's off to work. Reese is just gonna get on my nerves all day because he's supposed to be, supposed to be doing coursework at home because he leaves college in a month. And um, he's supposed to be doing coursework, but in fact, all he's actually probably gonna do is just annoy me. I know there's so many people out there who will genuinely want to be updated on how things are with Felicity because they genuinely just care. Um, 
and I took her to physio yesterday. We're still waiting for a phone call from the consultant. So she had her second MRI a week and a bit ago, last Tuesday, it's now Thursday, um, so nine days ago. I called up the consultant and I don't think, you know, they don't mean to make you feel this way, but you kind of be made to feel like you're being a nuisance, but you just want to keep calling them all the time and saying, you know, what's happening? Tell me what's happening. Um, but when I spoke to them on Monday, they said the results from the MRI still had the MRI still hadn't been reported on, and they would call me as soon as it was. And now we're on Thursday. But I took her to physio yesterday, and the physiotherapist was able to see that one report was back. So they get reported on by two two different people, two different departments report on the MRI. One report was back and it said that there was no um, like obvious problem, some fluid still in her patillary gland and some swelling above the knee, but it needs a second report. Um, so yeah, she started her physio yesterday. She did really well. They're referring her to the hydrotherapy pool as well for her to have some hydrotherapy. Um, but I don't even want to entertain the things I've been told because she hasn't yet had an official diagnosis. And me and Kev were talking about this last night because I was really upset. Um, and Kev was saying, you know, like, we can't, you know, focus on these things until they are, you know, until we've got an actual diagnosis, until someone said to us, this is what it is. Um, but chronic regional pain syndrome has been banded around a little bit more than I'd like to like it to have been. The GP mentioned it and now the physiotherapist has mentioned it because she has been 10 weeks now with no no change in her in her knee at all. Um, if there was an injury like um you know when you pull a ligament or twist something it would have been repaired or repairing itself by now, you wouldn't expect to still be in exactly the same situation as you were at the beginning. Um, so they have mentioned, the physio did mention yesterday, um, this chronic pain, chronic regional pain syndrome, CRPS they call it. And you hear about, you hear these stories, don't you, about children that just wake up one day and they can't walk anymore, or they wake up and they can't talk anymore. And you hear these stories and you don't, you know, that, those things happen to other people. Those things don't happen to you. That's how we all feel, isn't it? Like that, you know, and, and that's why I say I'm, I can't even, I don't even want to entertain that at the moment um, because she is still in investigation process and I'm still clinging on to the hope that someone is going to say, yes, we found a tear and we can repair it and she'll be better. Um, but at the moment, yeah, we're 10 weeks down the line and I can remember doing vlogs about her leg, um, you know, doing little bits like this, catching up, talking to other people, talking to family and saying, I can't believe she's been like this three weeks. I remember taking her into A&E and saying, she's been like this for two weeks. Someone has to do something, this isn't fair. And now I'm saying 10 weeks, 10 flipping weeks. In fact, um, yeah, it's 10 weeks, this, or is it, or is it coming up to 11 weeks? It's got to the point where I'm starting to lose track, but she has been 10 weeks in this situation and never in a million years did I think that I would be saying 10 weeks. It was too long when it had been two weeks. Um, so yeah, that's a little, little update on Felicity. I can't, I've had a lot of, um, a lot of messages. There's been a lot of messages coming through on my Instagram and, um, comments on here. And I don't want people to think that I'm being arrogant and not replying. Um, I just haven't had, um, I'm just not men, wasn't feeling like I was mentally able to reply um, and even consider all of these things that people are saying. Like I've had people saying about this happened, or they know someone this happened to, and it's functional, you know, functional neurological disorder, and all of these different like illnesses. And I know everyone is trying to help, and by no means am I saying that I don't appreciate people um, messaging me, but I'm really struggling at the moment to uh, to process all of this. And it just feels like it's happening to someone else and not me. And it's, yeah, it's just really difficult. Um, but Felicity herself, she's not doing too bad. 
she has her, her up days and her down days. There's some days where you'd think, you know, she's managing it so well, you'd think that she wasn't even poorly. Um, and then there's days where she doesn't want to even get out of bed and she feels really low. They're supposed to be, well, they are starting swimming in her class um, tomorrow. And she has been so, so excited about swimming at school. Um, and now she can't go. And the teacher said this morning, she can still come down on the coach and watch everyone else. And I thought, well, what fun is that for her? Because she's already struggling with seeing everyone doing all the things that she loves to do, that she can no longer do, like spinning around, spinning around the bars in the playground, um, cartwheels, gymnastics, all the things that she loves to do that she can't do. And she's been so excited about when it's her class's turn to do swimming. I think it would be really horrible for her to have to just go and sit on the side. So she's requested to go into her best friend Annabelle's class for the time that the rest of the class is swimming. So hopefully that's going to happen tomorrow. And I really need to stop talking, although there's much more I could catch you up on. Um, because I have to go and pick Sienna up from school. Because Sienna is currently only going to school for two hours a day. Um... We're just trying to like re rewind, go right back like in time and start gradually introducing her to school um, like you would when they start in reception because whatever happened, I never want to go back to that again. Um, so this week she's doing two hours a day. She's wearing her own clothes from home and then next week we'll increase it slightly and attempt to have her going back into school uniform. So yeah, baby steps with Sienna at the moment, which means I only have a two hour window in the morning to do as much as I possibly can. Um, I've got bedding in the washing machine I need to go and take out and hang on the line for the caravan park tomorrow. And I just need to finish cleaning this kitchen. Because at the moment I feel like that's all I managed to do in a day. Just kind of semi keep on top of the kitchen whilst the rest of the house looks like a bomb has gone off. show everybody what you've been so busy making at school this week. Oh, you going to take him out first? The big thing off. Oh no. I don't know why. Sienna's been busy making a home for her koala. You can, can fix it at home some glue if you like. Yeah, but this can make it Yeah? Shall I lift so it up? So this is at home. This is for my little pink bunny. Oh, is that the pink bunny's bed, is it? Yeah. That little bit there is for pink this bunny. That's a sofa. I make it's a bed for koala at home because there will not really any big stuff. Okay, so you need to make a bed for koala. Yeah. And this is koala's high chair, is it? What? Yeah. This. This yeah. is the high chair. And I'm going to make a little table for it. A little table? And this big bit. And it goes so like, but this, it makes a go. That there, goes through there. Like that. And then this, make a go. And it sticks on the front. And then that's his little cloth to wipe his face. Is that right? Is that what you just showed me? And then, we keep the rug. What's the rug? Another one. We keep the shelf. And we keep the confetti for it to play with. Oh, you've done such a good job. She's been busy doing this all um, all week at school, haven't you? When you go in in the morning, you have to, you get to do a craft with your friend. And then after you've done your craft with your friend. Tomorrow we Isla. Are got, you doing a craft with Isla tomorrow, are you? Days. So So you've done Clemmy on Monday. Clemmy on Monday. Celia on Tuesday. Emily on Friday and Isla on Oh Emily on Friday. Wednesday. Oh, Emily on Thursday, Isla on Friday. Yeah, and I just have an extra Fila day on Wednesday. Do you? You know your three bestest friends. Although, you know when people say like, you know, I love you and I, I love you with everything that I've got. Sienna just took that to an extreme. She just said to me, um, I love Ophelia so much that when I die, I'm going to drag her in my grave with me. I was like, wow, that's some extreme love there. That is some extreme love. You love your friend Ophelia the mostest in the world if you want to take her all the way into the ground with you. <laughs> I was like, mm, a little bit morbid, but yeah, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. The things that you come out with. And I have my crispies what I put in here. You've got crispies in here, did you? I can't see any crispies in here. Oh, there is never a dull moment with you around, is there, Sienna? No, no crispies. You can go home and have a snack. I've had to pop out because I need to pick up a parcel and I just thought we needed a segment of me saying, oh, that's cute. <laughs> or Sienna saying, that's cute. That, however, is beautiful. Okay. And that one? 
You like that one too? I want to find out how much that one is because that's beautiful. That would look lovely on holiday. Can you find the tag and see if you can see how much it costs? Where's the tag that tells how much it costs? Can you read it? How much is it? £16. Is that only £16? That's amazing. That's so cheap. Like, Nex has really brought their prices down, hasn't it? I, I found another lovely car. Oh, you found another lovely? Oh, that is, and this is lovely as well. Yeah, and this. Oh my gosh, actually, that is stunning. <gasps> Felicity would love that. And However, this. that is not so cheap. That's £32. That's really, cute. really cute. That's really but cute. These are all a little bit more expensive. This is more like wedding clothes. Way more. But I really like that other dress. Have they got it in your size? Oh, Sienna. That is a Taylor Swift dress, but look at this one. <gasps> That's cute. That's only £11. I mean it. <laughs> Can you tell everybody when I won the lottery? What? Well, when did I win the lottery? Oh, mummy not letting me get a laptop in curries. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth wants to go and have a look in curries, and she's like, Can I get an iPad? I'm like, No, not today. She's like, Oh, you're so mean. <laughs> Sienna just told me that I'm the meanest mummy. Because she won't, me, she won't let me get an iPad. I'm not going to buy her an iPad in Curry's. Oh, right. <laughs> I think I left your key I hope not. Is that all right? Well, no, this is not all right. Where have you put the keys, really? Yeah, <laughs> right, Reese wants to look at. What do you even want to look Laptops. at? Laptops. Laptops. Oh, yeah. Let me see the price. It's only £1,099. How much? £1,099. I'll ask you the same as I just asked Sienna. When did I win the lottery? Because I didn't get the memo. Was it doing? <laughs> what is it doing? What is it? new Samsung Galaxy S24 yeah, yes, which I'm um, I'm going to upgrade oh, to soon and you will not uh, even know what I look right like oh, look at the smoothness on this one and then you can change the tone the tone of your skin color and this is the best ever you can get rid of your double chin it has a jawline do it and on, eyes do it on my eyes do it on your eyes pick me up <laughs> Reese was lifting you up but he says you're too heavy now yeah you can actually make your eyes Maybe. bigger this is actual mad. This is such a catfish. But this is going to be my next phone when my phone is due to be upgraded. You guys aren't going to even know what I really look like. Um, I hope none of you see me in real life because you'll be like, wow. <laughs> Just wow. Just <laughs> take a photo of you putting your thumbs up. <laughs> You're not normal. Right, come on then. There's only one place left to go. Home bargains. I want to see all my pictures. <laughs> so I've got that one, that one, that oh, they're, one. They're incredible. So Lisa's birthday is in less than a month. Not just any old birthday, it's his, um, it's really hot isn't it? It's his 18th birthday and he cannot still decide what he wants for his birthday. There is loads and loads of stuff out there that he'd like for his birthday, but Reese has, it. yeah, Reese has got the most expensive taste, doesn't he? Um, I don't know where he gets it from. Clearly, he doesn't get it from me. Um, I did just get complimented again on this dress, which I bought last year in Sainsbury's, and whenever I wear it, everyone's like, oh, where's that dress from? Um, but yeah, so he doesn't get his expensive taste from me at all. Um, but he's like, Mum, can I have like a Ralph Lauren? polo top i like reese they're like 100 odd pounds um an ipad a new phone a laptop not just any old laptop a macbook i mean this boy he has got the most expensive taste and i will add that he's currently completely and utterly broke and it's not payday for two weeks uh, that's why he's hanging around with me because he hasn't got any money um and now he's like oh i need um i need to pop to home bargains oh yeah that old chestnut yesterday he rung me he's like what are you doing? I was like, I'm just at home. Do you want to go out for lunch? And I was like, no, no, I don't. Because I know I've got to pay and I can't afford it. Uh, so yeah, he always hangs around with me when he's got no money left and has the most expensive taste. Um, so yeah, less than a month, less than a month. And I have no idea at all what I'm going to buy him. What? Can you put your boat right on? We've got to pop round to the other car park to go to home bargains. Reese has just gone in 
to McDonald's to use the toilet. And I've just picked up a parcel, which I'm guessing Lisa's put in the boot. Let me have a little look. Nice. Really hoping they're going to fit. It's only the No, mummy's trousers for the weekend. How much swimming? I will show you a swimming costume, yeah. So yeah, I just picked these up, but I had to go for a petite because also I wish there was such a thing as a size 13 because a 14 is a bit big on me at the moment, but size 12 is too small. So I'm either walking around pulling my jeans up, um, my size 14 pair of jeans, or I'm walking around with the button undone on my size 12. So I went for a 14, because I'm going out drinking, so I didn't want to be like, you know, uncomfortable. And then I've ordered a top from New Look that I need to collect tomorrow. Big Poundlands just opened up on this industrial estate, so I just popped in there and got this swimming costume for Sienna for four pounds. Like, how cheap? Four pound, and that's really cute. And it's lovely bright color, so I can spot her. And what I really liked about it is it's got a, adjustable strap here so you can tighten it up so yeah i've got that now we're gonna go down to home bargains we're um, back from home bargains and i'm sure you're all desperate to see um what we got so sienna firstly wants to show you what she's just made because she lives for crafting at the moment she crafts all day long um but she just got some air dry clay and she's just made this but <coughs> this is what big brothers are for right I was saying, this or this, can I put it this craft or this craft, can I put it and she couldn't make her mind up. I wouldn't put it up there because the air fryer's on, it'll get warm. And then Reese, where the he goes, here and here's two pounds. So she ended up buying both crafts. But I ended up buying Reese everything else he wanted because Reese is poor. <coughs> We've both got a frog in our throat. Which one? This one. This is air dry clay. I think it was one ninety nine. Oh, you want to stay there, do you? Um, but I didn't buy a great deal. Not a lot. Nothing exciting anyway. Got some bird seed so we can feed birdies outside. Um, my job for next week is to do our front garden. Last year we did the garden. Yeah, I spent quite so I in a minute. Um, spent quite a bit of money on it, and currently it looks awful. Um, it really needs a good sorting out. I've got to say though, considering I put weed-free compost in our planters, they've grown some incredible weeds like massive ones so that all needs sorting out we've got an infestation of caterpillars which obviously i'm not going to be able to sort out um but someone did leave me a comment to say the caterpillars are I'll what's get, probably I'll killed not, your hedge um, i'll get you all of you because we can get ahead no you're not eating all of them no not even going to hide them you can have a couple and eat them every day um and then he would love them he gave you the rest of his sweets the other day reese loves these tubs of sweets and um the girls always go in his bedroom looking for them um, but the other day, he gave you the rest of his tub, didn't he? The watermelon worm. Oh, a worm. Got some carpet shampoo. Um, I don't have a carpet. Well, I do have a carpet to clean, but I think it's beyond the spot cleaner. I need a proper um, carpet clean. Um, Reese is going to shampoo his mattress. And although this isn't upholstery or mattress shampoo, it will do the job. And it's only one ninety nine. Um, where were we sleep tonight yet? Reese is sleeping in Bella's tonight, which is why I've told him to shampoo his carpet this afternoon. Not his carpet, his mattress, because then it will dry in time. Um, bird seed. Oh, the girls have got a little craft each to do. They've got these. Oh, these were um, only 99p. Build and paint your own bird house. So that's for after, well, for when Felicity finishes school. Because um, all she does is craft all the time. Sienna just loves nothing more than to craft. You want to show those? I'm gonna put one in. Gonna put one in. Can you get them off? Need help? There's probably they might be sellotaped on. Yeah, they are. Some little hair grips. Some little hair bows. There you go. They're very cute. Oh, there, there I go again, Sienna, with the cute. It's all very cute. Here you go. Um, what else did I get? I got some razors, which is just the usual. Um, I always pick up Felicity's favourite pretzels whenever I go to home bargains. Uh, Daddy wanted some food bags because he's got some chicken in his the freezer. Um, Bella introduced me to these spot patches and these are only 99p in home bargains. Don't know if they'll be any good, but at the moment my skin is the best That's it's it. been. 
in ages. They look beautiful. Um, I don't know what happened, but my skin for ages was so bad, like so sore. I had the worst breakout. Um, no, thank you. I don't like the watermelons. Um, but touch wood, touch wood, it's, um, it's healed up. And at the moment, I'm good. But I've got these just to be on the safe side. Also, I needed a mascara. This was only $1.99. Probably won't be much, much cop. But if I went to Superdrug, I would have spent much, much more than $1.99. Um, and right now, I only do really, really need a mascara. So I've got that. Um, for the front door, for, um, I'm going to put that on the wall by the front door once I've sorted out the garden. And some more crafty bits, because like I say, Sienna lives for crafting. I just got some of this craft paper. Yeah, but you normally do That's it. like, this is like proper school paper, isn't it? That coloured stuff. Um, yeah, because you can normally make your craft after. And you're cleaning up cooking. Yeah, we'll I started like here. collecting up like yoghurt pots and washing them up so that she's got some and then, junk to do junk modelling at home, because like, yeah, all she does is craft. And then, oh! Really dropped it. And then we can use this to colour in the pot. This super thin paper that all schools have. Feels a bit like a paper towel. And then I got these metallic pens, which I thought looked really nice. By Play-Doh. These were only £1.50. Let's have a look what they look like. Should we see on there? Should we write Sienna? Is that your name? Yeah? They're quite nice. So you can do some drawing as well. Sienna and Felicity. Yeah? And that's it, I think. No. That's not it. Well, what else is there? What, what, one, two, three, go. Oh, you're going to show your hair dry clay that we bought you. Oh, I'm going to show one packet. Whilst I was like, no, you've got to choose one thing. And we was just like, here you go, Sienna. I'm going to kill the packet. Come on. Then. One, two, three. Come on. Then. It's hair. <laughs> Air dry clay, is it? Yeah, air dry clay. So really, what you've made should dry out. Wait, don't put everything on cover it. Oh no, sorry. Like it is ruined. Right, I need to go get the washing off the washing line. No. Put another load out before I've got to go and get Felicity from school. Can I entertain them? Can you entertain them? Probably not. If we just out on the kitchen side and the air fryer's on. Alexa, play Taylor Swift. <laughs> you set off all of the Alexas, the tablet Alexas, that Alexa. taken a little bit of a turn um, I picked Felicity up from school also yeah dumping this is my family's dumping zone I'm not even going to apologize for it anymore it always looks like that um, picked Felicity up got her in the car and she said to me mum I went to the toilet and my knee looks like it's bruising so I said oh I'll have a look when we get in and so I got her in took her tights off and it does look like it's bruised so I actually put it on Instagram so some of you if you follow me on Instagram would have seen um, a picture of what her leg looked like after school today and I feel like I examine that leg so often that I sometimes make myself see things that aren't there so I put it on Instagram so can anyone else see bruising or is this all in my head and everybody that replied said that they could see bruising so I called up her consultant and said that I believe that her leg, um, the inside of her knee is swollen and bruised since physio yesterday. And what should I do? Found out on that phone call that another appointment has been scheduled for a, um, a follow-up with the consultant. So that's on the 30th, which is only what, a week and a week away, a week and a bit away. Um, what day are we even on? Just, just over a week away. Um, so yeah, found out she got an appointment booked and they said bring up the GP and see if the GP would see her to check her over and if the GP couldn't see her could I take her into A&E and I was like oh, I really don't want to take her to A&E because we don't get anywhere in A&E we just spend all night there and 
it's just awful. So thankfully, I cannot, honestly, our doctors are incredible. Um, you can usually get an appointment on the day if you ring up nice and early. I mean, sometimes I've called up at 8.30 on a Monday morning and I'd be like calling number 18 in the queue. Um, but they keep so many appointments free for like emergencies that day. But usually they're normally filled first thing in the morning because everyone's on that phone as soon as the lines open. So I rung up thinking, please, please say you can see her. And as soon as I said it was Felicity with her ongoing knee problem, they were like, yeah, bring her up. So that was at like four o'clock and they had her in to be seen at half past four. Um, the doctor agrees that it is bruised and it is more swollen um, since having physio yesterday. So I was like, do I continue with the exercises with her or should we refrain from doing it? And he said to continue with it. I'm not really, doesn't seem like the right thing to do. But that's what he said, continue with exercises. So, she, so she's gone in the hot tub um, to do her exercises because it's so much easier to do it in the water. But I spoke to her teacher this morning about her putting her foot to the floor and it must have like not got through the other teachers with the same message. So one of her teachers has been constantly going on at her today about putting her foot flat to the floor, which she can't do. Um, so she's had a really horrible day at school. She was really not happy when I picked her up. Um, there's nothing that the doctor can do. He said they're waiting for these MRI results from the second MRI. And if nothing is picked up on that MRI, and the orthopedic and tra trauma and orthopedics say that they can't find a cause for this pain that she's in, then the next step is that she'll be um, referred to paediatric rheumatology. And he talked about, I called it chronic earlier on, it's actually called complex, it's not chronic, it's com complex regional pain syndrome. So that's now a third, third person who's said that. Um, and it's just, yeah, I don't want that to be her story. I, you know, nobody wants that to be any child's story. And I spoke to him and I said, I've researched it and it's so rare. And he agreed and he said it is really rare. I asked if he'd seen any children with it in his career. And he said he's only actually been a full, he's our new GP, we used to have like an old man GP, but he's retired and he's our new GP. And he's brilliant because he always, explains everything to me, he tells me what the next steps are because he knows how concerned I am. Um, but he said he's only actually been a full GP for two and a half years. He says he's never seen a child with it. He has, when he was a junior doctor, seen an adult with it. Um, but that will be the next step, is that she'll be referred through to paediatric rheumatology. I just had a quick Google and it seems that there isn't one in our hospital. She will then more than likely go to, from what I can tell on Google, because I didn't ask, um, I should have asked whilst I was there, but it was one of those things you think about when you leave. Um, will that be at our hospital? But from what I'm seeing, I think it will be Bristol. I obviously hope that we don't get to that point. Like that, to me, is the point I do not want to get to. I am clinging on to every hope that they see something on this MRI and they say, yeah, it's that. I then brought up the fact that the consult one of the consultants, one of the many consultants that we've seen, but one of the consultants that we did see told me that there was a knee injury that can be, um, that you can sustain and it can't be seen on an MRI. So I asked about that. I was like, are there people out there being diagnosed with this complex regional pain syndrome that actually maybe just have an injury that hasn't been fixed because it hasn't shown up on an MRI or on a scan? Because um, that's where my mind goes with it. I think, well, if they can't, you know, they're not going to open up a person or, you know, they're not going to open up Felicity's knee or anything on anyone unless they have a reason to do so. And he said that they'd be even more reluctant to do that on a child of eight years old, which I completely understand. And, you know, it's awful because as much as, you know, you, nobody wants a child to have an operation. But to me, right now, I'm like, just, just open her knee up and have a look and find whatever's wrong, fix it, and then bring her back to me. That, that's how my, my feeling is right now. It's like, just take her and fix her and bring her back to me when she's fixed. Take her into surgery and just make her better and then bring her back. Um, this whole complex regional pain syndrome potential diagnosis is, is horrible and I, I think I would really struggle to accept that diagnosis because it just doesn't 
it just seems crazy. I was just talking to mums at the school because everyone's asking about her because no one expected to still see her on crutches. And they're all like, it's mad. She was running around doing gymnastics like every other eight year old. And then like a, a switch has been flicked. She's like this, it just doesn't seem fair. Um, but that's where we're at. That's where today went. Kev's about to walk through the door with the coleslaw for tea. And um, I'm just cooking, that's what the whirring is, some chicken for kebabs. Turns out it was only me, Kev, and the three younger ones for dinner tonight um, because everyone else is dispersed, doing their own thing. Sienna just called us all in the front room because she said, there's a bee in the front room, there's a bee. And I thought it was probably a fly. But look, that is the biggest bumblebee I think I've ever seen. Bee, bee, bumblebee. <laughs> so we're gonna let him go, yeah? Yeah. Right, go on then, take the top off oh, the glass. Push the window shut. Take this, oh yeah, yeah, push the window shut, otherwise he'll go straight back in the house. Right, you ready? Can we go, babe? Right, take the um, piece of paper off. Can you go by me? Yeah, I'll take the paper Look. off. I'll take the paper ready? Off. Go. Bye bye, bumblebee. Bye, bye, bumblebee. <laughs>